Let's get started. First, we have Big Bird. Big Bird is yellow. Let's take a look at this Play-Doh. It's also yellow. Oh, look, we have a green roller. Let's roll the Play-Doh. It's not as easy as it looks. Sometimes it gets stuck. Okay, I'm just going to turn it and we're going to get our pumpkin mold. Here it is. I wonder what's on the other side. So now you put your pumpkin down and you press hard and you take out any extra Play-Doh and we're going to see what kind of pumpkin we got. Hmm, I'm excited. Oh look, it's a yellow pumpkin with a little ghost on it. It's yellow just like Big Bird. Let's take a closer look. Here is Big Bird, he's yellow. And the pumpkin is yellow with a ghost on it. Let's see who's next. Hmm, do you know who this is? It's Elmo! Elmo is red. And the Play-Doh is also red. Can you think of some other things that are red? Well, an apple is red. And so is a tomato. Now we're taking our green roller and rolling out the red Play-Doh. You just have to be careful not to break it apart. Roll it nice and smooth. Let's see what pumpkin we're gonna get next. Here's a mold. Okay, let's try putting it in the middle and you have to press it down and take out any extra Play-Doh. Okay, are you ready to see what's under this pumpkin mold? Okay, one, two, three. <gasps> Look at that. It's candy. It's some Halloween candy on a red pumpkin. Red like Elmo. I heard that Elmo really likes Halloween candy. That's why he's dressed up as a candy corn. Here is Elmo again. Elmo is red. Now we have the pumpkin, and it's also the color red. It has some Halloween candy on it. Next up, it's Abby Cadabby. Look at her. She's pink. And this Play-Doh is also pink. Let's take it out. You know what time it is. It's time to roll it. I love the color of this Play-Doh. Let's see what kind of pumpkin we have next. Here it is. Let's put it down. Press it hard and take out any extra Play-Doh we have. Are you ready to see what's underneath? Okay, one, two, three. Look at that! This pink pumpkin has a witch's hat. Just like Abby Cadabby, she's a witch for Halloween. This might be my favorite pumpkin. Let's take a closer look. Here's Abby Cadabby. She's pink. And now the pumpkin is pink and has a witch's hat on it. Just like Abby's in her costume. Here comes a green monster. Who is this? It's Oscar. Oscar the Grouch. Let's open. This Play-Doh is green, just like Oscar. Okay, I'm gonna press it down and we're gonna get our green roller that matches the Play-Doh. I wonder what this pumpkin's going to look like. 
Let's roll it out. Here is our pumpkin. You already know we have to press it down and take out any extra Play-Doh. What do you think this one will be? Let's take a look. Oh, it's a jack-o'-lantern. It's a green jack-o'-lantern. The pumpkin is green like Oscar the Grouch. Let's take a closer look. Here is Oscar. Oscar is green. Our jack-o'-lantern pumpkin is also green. Now it's our last monster. It's Cookie Monster. He's blue and so is this Play-Doh. It's blue. Hey, can you think of anything else that's blue? Well, the sky is blue and the ocean is blue. I've even seen blue cars. Let's see what pumpkin we're going to have on this blue Play-Doh. Here it is. Press it down. And remember to take out any extra Play-Doh you have around. Let's take a look. What do you think this one will be? Any guesses? One, two, three. It says Happy Halloween. It's a blue pumpkin with the words Happy Halloween. So this pumpkin is blue like Cookie Monster. Let's take a closer look. Here's Cookie Monster. He's blue. And our pumpkin is also blue and it says Happy Halloween. Wow, we learned so many colors with all of these pumpkins. And the best part is that all our friends from Sesame Street helped us. Let's review the colors one more time. This pumpkin is blue. This pumpkin is green. How about this pumpkin? This one is red. This pumpkin is yellow. And the last pumpkin is pink. Great job! Now we're going to do a Halloween craft with stickers! We're going to put together a Halloween scene and we will learn colors and we're going to count together! I'm so excited to get started! Let's go! Wow, look at these stickers! These are spooky Halloween stickers! We have a witch and her potion and an eye! There's a skull and a cauldron. This is so cool. Before we start on our craft, let's take a look at some pumpkins. Here they are. Wow, how many do we have? Let's count together. One, two, three. We have three pumpkins. What color are the pumpkins? They're orange! Now, let's take a look at the sizes of these pumpkins. Do you think they're all the same size? Or some of them are bigger and some are smaller? Okay, let's start like this. The one in the middle is small. The one on the right is medium. And the one on the left is large. That's the biggest pumpkin. How did you do? Did you get them all right? If you didn't, that's okay. You can go over that part a few more times. You know what's really fun to make from pumpkins? Jack-o'-lanterns! You can carve a pumpkin and put a light inside and then it's gonna glow in the dark. It looks so awesome! Have you ever done that? 
If you didn't, you can have an adult help you and you can have it out for Halloween. That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> Ooh, this one is laughing. Now, let's start our sticker project. Okay, we're going to start with the witch's hat. The hat is black with an orange ribbon. It's a pointy witch hat. Here's the last part of the hat. Look at that. Now we have the witch's face. She has purple hair. I found these stickers at the dollar store, but I'm sure you could find them at any craft store. They're like gel stickers. Okay, I'm just fixing up her face. Looks so good. Now look at this, she has a black dress. Let's put it on. Perfect. Here's her little hands. All these stickers come apart, so you just have to put it together. You could be creative. And the background I used here is like a silicone sheet, but you can use a colored paper. It'll be perfect. This witch has green stockings. Here's one, and here's the other one. Oh, you gotta get it just right. Here we go. That looks good. And now she's got some black boots. One, two. This will complete her outfit. Oh look, they look perfect. Now, I think she's missing something. Here it is. This is her broomstick. She has to be able to fly on Halloween. Look, the broom part is purple. She looks great. Ooh, look at this. This is her cauldron. The cauldron is black and it's got green slime inside. Ooh, what's that? That's the eye she's adding to it. Oh, look at this. This is her potion. It's orange. Do you think it's made of pumpkins? Let's put it here on the side for her. I don't know what she's going to do with it. Let's see what else. Ooh, we got two ghosts. One and two. Ooh, they're so spooky. Let's stick them over here. Those are two white ghosts. I wonder what else we're going to find. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, ooh. It's a bat. It's a black bat. Let's put it over here. I think we have more. Hmm, there's two more bats. Let's put them all here flying. How many do we have? One, two, three. We have three black bats. I did find more stickers. Let's see. Here we have a haunted house. It's all black with yellow windows. Let's put it on the side. Ooh, look at that. So many windows. What else can we find? Oh, look at this. This is a black cat. Let's put it here. Some people think that black cats are bad luck, but they're beautiful. We should always be kind to all the animals. What's this here? It's an orange pumpkin. It's an orange jack-o'-lantern. And look, here's the top to it. It's a green stem. Now we have some stars. Let's put them here. These are purple stars. Now we have a few yellow stars. Let's put them over here. How many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five stars. Look at this, we have another jack-o'-lantern or pumpkin. Let's put it here. Let's put the stem on. We have one, two, two orange pumpkins. Now we have two candies. One, two, two green Halloween candy. I think we're almost running out of space. Here we have three more ghosts. 
Look at this little one. Let's put them up here. One, two, and the big one will go here. That's three. So how many do we have all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. We have five ghosts. Now last but not least, we have to add Boo. B-O-O -O is Boo. We're all done. Look at our awesome picture. This looks great, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great Halloween. We're going to be doing arts and crafts. I'm so excited. Let's get started. Look at this. We have a little booklet. Build your own cupcake. Wow, this looks so cool. Let's see inside. There's two cupcakes. And we have all these stickers. Wow. More stickers over here. There's so many. Numbers and flowers. I like these. Now in the back here we have some more stickers and two more cupcakes. This looks like the perfect activity book for Valentine's Day. It's sweet. Here we have all the cupcakes. I have numbered them. One, two, three, and four. We have four cupcakes to decorate. The first one has white frosting. The second one has pink frosting. The third one has brown frosting. And the last one, the fourth one, has yellow frosting. It's going to be so much fun to decorate them. Let's do it. We'll start with the first one. I'm putting a candle on the first one. Look at that. It's a purple and pink candle, just like the number one. On the second cupcake, I'm putting a red cherry. That's a red cherry. The third cupcake will have a strawberry. It's also red. The fourth cupcake has a flower. It's a pink flower. That looks so nice. Hmm, we'll put something on the first one. How about some stars? Let's put colorful stars. Here's the first one. This star is red. Another one. This star is purple. Here we have another one. This one is pink. How about this one? This star is blue. Another one. This one's yellow. Here we got one more. That one is green. It looks like we have room for one more. Oh look, here it is. It's orange. Wow, that looks so nice. Look at all these stars. They look awesome. Let's decorate the second cupcake. What should we put on it? How about some circles? Here's the first one. This one is blue. The second one is green. How about the third one? This one is yellow. This one right here is orange. The next one is brown. And we have room for one more. It's red. Wow, look at that. How many do we have? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six circles on the pink cupcake. Now it's time to decorate the third cupcake, the brown one. Hmm, what should we put on this one? How about some jelly beans? Jelly beans are an oval shape. Here's the first one. It's red. The second one is green. Now we have a yellow one. This one here is orange. Okay, here's a pink one. I think we could fit one more. Oh, look.
look, we got a purple one. Look how nice that looks. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six jelly beans. They are oval in shape. Now it's time to decorate the fourth cupcake, the one with the flower. That's yellow. What should we put on this one? How about we put some flowers to match the flower that's on top? Let's do it! Here's the first one. This flower is green. Our next flower is blue. Here we have another one. This one is pink. This one here is orange. What about one more? We could fit another one. Look, we have one more. It's purple. That looks so beautiful. Great job! Now stay tuned to make some love bugs. Oh look, we have all our supplies to make a love bug. We're going to make a blue one. We have all these different pieces and the best thing to do is to start with the base. It looks like a little heart. We have to put it upside down and put a little sticky glue on it. Let's see, this one is the biggest one. Hmm, It's round and I guess we stick it on here. Maybe a little tough, let's try. Okay, so we put it upside down and then we put the body of the love bug on top. This one is blue, so now it looks like it has little feet. We fluff it out. Wow, look how cute that is. Perfect. Wow, he's adorable already. Now, I think next we could put his googly eyes on. We gotta open it. Oh, he already looks so cute. Let's put his mouth on and his rosy cheeks. Adorable! Now, I think we just need to put the wings and the antennas on. Look at this. We have to be careful taking it out. We're going to use these glue dots to glue these wings on the back of the little bug. It's so easy. We just have to make sure that they're stuck on really well. That looks so good. Hmm, now we just need to put the little antenna on. Be careful, ripping it apart, okay. Now just put a little glue dot here and stick it on the top. Our blue love bug is so cute! Look at him, let's make sure everything is stuck on good. He could fly around and be adorable. This is such a fun craft. Now, you could just watch me make the next two and follow along.
Look, here are all our love bugs. They are so cute. We have the yellow, blue, and purple one. Okay, bye little love bugs. First, it's Abby Kadabby. Look at her. She's so happy. Do you want to see some magic? Look. <gasps> wow, how did Abby do that? Look at this Play-Doh. We need to roll it out. Ooh, we have a roller. It's green like the mat. Let's roll it. Say roll it. Roll it. Looks good. Let's turn it. What mold will we have first? Ooh, this one. It's blue. Let's press it and see what we get. Remember, you have to take away all the extra Play-Doh. What will it be? Drum roll, please. Look! It says Happy Easter. And it has a little bunny. It's pink like Abby Kadabby. So cute. I love it. Now it's Oscar the Grouch. Look at him. I think we should do some magic again. Did you see that? That's the Play-Doh. Wow, look at this one. It's green. It's green like the roller in the background. Wow, everything's green. Let's roll it out. There it goes. Let's see what cookie this one is. Hmm, this one's yellow. Let's press it down. Take away all the extra Play-Doh. Wow, that's an Easter egg. Look at this cute little Easter egg. This is adorable. Do you like making Easter eggs? Me too. Here comes Elmo. This is Elmo. Let's make the Play-Doh appear. There it is. So while we roll our Play-Doh, can you guess what color this is? It's the same color as Elmo. Yes, it's red. It's the color red. Let's turn it. Okay, and here's our cookie mold. Hmm, what could it be? Do you have an idea? Oh, look! There's a red butterfly flying in. Hmm, what does that mean? Do you think this might be a butterfly? Yes, it's a butterfly. It's a red butterfly. Look at it flying around. Butterflies come in many different colors. They are so beautiful. Bye, little butterfly. Look at this beautiful scene. This is where our butterfly flew away to. Can you spot him? Here he is. Look at him flying around with all the other butterflies. Have fun. Oh, look. Now it's Cookie Monster, the one who loves cookies. Let's do some more magic with him. We did it. We made the Play-Doh appear. This Play-Doh is blue. Blue like Cookie Monster. Let's roll it. Sometimes it gets a little stuck. But here we are. And look at this. Mm, what could this be? Let's take a look. Well, remember to always press it down and take away any extra Play-Doh so you can get a nice cookie. Oh, wait, what happened? There's the Easter Bunny. And now we have a little bunny. He's blue like Cookie Monster. Oh, look at him. He's hopping around. Hop, hop, little bunny. Hop, hop. Okay, we'll see you at Easter. Bye. Oh, wow, look at that cute little bunny by the Easter eggs. The word bunny starts with the letter B. B is for bunny. And now we have our last character. It's Big Bird. Big Bird really loves Easter. 
Let's make the Play-Doh appear. Here it is. This Play-Doh is yellow, just like Big Bird. Of course, we have to roll it out, make it flat. Roll it out, roll it out. I wonder what this next pretend cookie is going to be. Hmm. Do you know? Let's take out the extra Play-Doh. Look at that. That's a little chick hatching from an egg. That egg is purple and the chick is yellow. Look at this. Our cookie is also a little baby chick. It's so cute. This is a yellow chick. The word chick starts with the letter C. C is for chick. Wow, we did it. We got all these cute pretend cookies made of Play-Doh. There's the pink, red, green, yellow, and blue. Oh, they are so colorful. But remember, don't eat them. They're just pretend. Today, we're going to have a Thanksgiving special. Can you guess what we're going to make? I'll give you a hint. It has feathers and it goes gobble gobble. What do you think it is? You got it, it's a turkey. We're going to make a turkey. Like I said, turkeys have feathers. And they like to play in leaves. So now this is some of the items you'll need. You'll need a pen or pencil, scissors, a glue stick, construction paper, and the next items are optional. We have feathers, googly eyes, and little leaves. If you don't have the feathers, you don't have to add them. And the eyes you can draw yourself. Even the leaves you can draw or you can go outside and pick some. Please remember that scissors are very sharp. You might have to ask an adult to help you. Are you excited about Thanksgiving Day? What's your favorite part about this holiday? Okay, let's get started. I already cut out a few hands, handprints. We have some big handprints in red and little tiny handprints in orange. So now I'm going to show you how to trace my hand and cut it out to look just like the others. I'm gonna use yellow paper, but you could use any colors you'd like. We're gonna take your pen or pencil. You want to put your paper down on a flat surface then you put your hand down right on the paper with your fingers slightly apart. And if you need help, someone could help you trace it. But then you take your pen or pencil and just trace all around your hand. It does not have to be perfect. You could cut it out around any imperfections. It's okay. So I just did the left hand and now I'm going to do the right hand. Because I'm right-handed, it's gonna be a little harder, so if you need someone to help you, go ahead and ask. Then you just trace again all around. This one's gonna be a little shaky, but that's okay. All right, almost done. One more finger. And you just finish the bottom. And that's my handprints. As you can see, the lines aren't straight, but when I cut it, I'll cut them straight. And you'll need about five or six hand prints. They could all be the same size, or you can do different sizes like I did. So for now, I'm going to put the hand print on the side, and we're going to trace some other parts of the turkey. So now we're going to draw the hat, and it's just like the hat here on the turkey. You can start off by making one line on the bottom and kind of curve up on both sides. 
it's probably best to find a picture online so you can see it and then draw it. Or you can get something where you can trace it and that'd be much easier. Hopefully you could see it, it's a little dark. But that's the little hat we'll put on the side. Next we have brown construction paper. We're going to draw the body of the turkey. We're going to do two circles, one big one and a smaller one on top. They're gonna be almost oval shaped. Let me show you. See like this, but mm, the one on the bottom, I think we're gonna turn it. I think it'll be better that way. Yeah, it's better, exactly. Okay, let's put it on the side. Now we're going to take red construction paper and make the turkey waddle. The part that goes from his beak down is called a snood. I'm going to draw it and then show it to you. It's sort of a squiggly line like this. And I'm going to turn it around later so the pen mark doesn't show. Next, we're going to make the beak with orange construction paper. We're going to make an upside down triangle. So you just draw an upside down triangle for the beak. It looks like this. Very cute. Now we're going to cut everything, so let's cut everything out. Make sure to be careful with the scissors, and let's go! See how the turkey body and the turkey head go on top of each other? Uh, it looks really nice. We're just going to make sure everything looks good. All right, here it is. Now, I decided we're going to put little wings on the side. So let me show you how to draw that, and then we'll cut it out. So you take a little bit of your brown construction paper, and we're going to make sort of like leaf shapes. I'll show you what they look like in a moment. Here we go. You want to measure it against the turkey to make sure that's going to fit. That looked good, so let's draw one for the other side. Here we go. That looks good. Perfect. So now we just want to cut it out. Okay, let's make sure the wings fit. Oh, these look good, let's see. Where's the other one? Okay, that's nice, that's perfect. Let's take a little break. What's that turkey sitting on? It's a pumpkin, and what's he holding? It's pumpkin pie. Do you like pumpkin pie? I do too. Yummy! All right, we're back. We're going to cut the hat now and the hands. So let's do it. Okay, we have all the little hands. We have the orange, yellow, and red. We're going to start with the red ones, or whatever biggest size you have first, and we're going to glue them onto the 12 by 12 paper. I'm going to keep zooming in and out so you could see details of what I'm working on. I hope that's helpful. Okay, so we're going to keep the hands with the thumbs inside. You want to make sure that they're going to fit on the paper. It's okay if they overlap. All right, maybe a little blurry, but I hope you could see the detail. All right, that looks like a good spot. So I'm going to take my glue stick and glue each hand one at a time. That looks great. 
Okay, now it's time for the yellow handprints. Again, I'm going to put them thumbs in the middle and I will place them a little bit lower and overlapping on the red handprints. That looks good. What do you think? Maybe a little lower? Okay, let's glue them. I just wanted to remind you that whatever side you have the pen mark on, that's the outline you'll be cutting. But if any of the pen mark shows, that's okay. You can just turn the paper around and then it'll be clean. See, just like this, we're gonna stick this one on a little lower and let's see, that looks good. Make sure it's stuck on very well. Okay, time to glue the other hand. I wonder what colors you're gonna use. Do you know yet? You can really do any color you want, but if you wanna do the same colors that I have here, that's okay too. Okay, this looks good. Mm, okay, let's move it a little bit. Okay, just making sure that it's stuck on really well, all the fingers. All right. Looks good. Now the little hands, the little orange hands. Very cute. Let's glue them on. Okay, so these little hands, we want to put them a little higher so you could see them uh, right on top here. The reason we don't want to put them on the bottom is because the turkey is going to be on the bottom. Okay, now we have the feathers. So this is optional. You don't have to add them, but if you have them, you can take them out now so you can watch what I'm doing. I'm going to take each feather and place them in between the fingers. Just like that. So I'll just put them in a few places. I can always switch it around. I have yellow, red, and a burgundy, purple. So that's gonna be cute. So you take each feather and you find a little spot where you could stick it in. Sometimes the glue is already stuck, but see right here I had a spot, so I'm just gonna put it in and it's staying. You could even glue it if you'd like. All right, you might have to pick it up a little bit, but it won't rip. It's just starting to dry, so you could still lift it. See, here's a yellow feather. See, here's my burgundy. I could put them on top here. You just gotta try to squeeze it in there. Looks so cute. Let's speed this up a little bit. Wow, look at that. Look at all those feathers. Let's clean them up. This looks so good. And maybe at the end, I'll add a few more feathers if I find some. Before we continue with our turkey, I want to ask you something. Do you feel sleepy after Thanksgiving dinner? I do. Why do you think that is? It must be all that yummy food. Look, even the turkey's sleeping. Okay, now we're going to make the turkey's body. This is his belly. Let's glue it. So we want to glue this part on the bottom. You just want to get it to be about the middle of where the feathers and the hands are. That looks good. And now we're going to put the head on. It's going to be overlapping on the body. So just put the glue on and then stick it right on top. Just like that. I'm making sure that it's glued on. It looks perfect. Now let's add the hat. I already put the glue on, so I'm just going to put it right on top of the head. 
Just glue it right on top here. That looks good. Okay, now let's add the wings. One on the left and one on the right. Right about here. Time to stick them on. Okay, now it's time for his face. We have the beak that's going to go in the middle. But under the beak, we're going to put the snood, which is that little red part that hangs from the beak. That goes first. Looks so good. Now it's time for the eyes. So I have medium sized eyes, big eyes. Let's see what will look better. Mm, I think the medium size. So I'm just gonna stick those on. If you don't have these type of eyes, that's okay. You can just draw them with a black marker. You can put a circle and in the middle, put a smaller circle and fill it in with black. Oh, he looks so cute. Okay, now I wanna put a contrasting line on the hat and I'm going to use the brown construction paper. It's just a little line. You wanna measure it that it's going to sit right on top there. Um, I'm going to cut it a little bit and just stick it right on so it will look a little bit like the one that's on the right here. Wow, look at our finished turkey. Now I'm just going to add some leaves all around him. Turkeys love to play in the leaves. I have little sticker leaves, but if you don't have those, that's okay. You can just draw them or you can cut some out, out of construction paper. You can even go outside and pick some small leaves to add. I'm going to put them all over. Look at our adorable turkey, he's all done! Do you remember all the colors we used today? We have black, brown, red, orange, yellow, burgundy, like one of the feathers. And I think that's it. Good job! Now let's see him closer. That was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. On today's show, we're going to be counting and learning colors. Are you ready? Let's go! Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. Wow, look at that Christmas tree. It's so beautiful. It's green. And look at that background. It's red. Red and green are Christmas colors. Now we're going to count how many presents there are. And inside, we're going to find surprises. Will you help me open them? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Wow, did you see all those presents? Let's count them together. One, two, three. We have three presents to open. Let's start with number one. Look at that. There's a yellow car. It's yellow. Let's see what's in the second box. Now we have a green airplane. It's green. It's time to open the third box. Wow, do you know what that is? It's a train. It's a blue train. It's blue. We did it. 
we counted to three. And we opened three presents with surprises inside. We saw a yellow car, a green airplane, and a blue train. They're all forms of transportation. Look at that. It's a winter scene. Oh, and there's a snowman. And another one. Oh, wow, and another one. Let's count them. One. Two. Three. We have three snowmen. They are so cute. The first one has a striped hat with green and red and even yellow. The second snowman has a red hat. And so does the third. But what about their scarves? The first one is red. The second one is green. And the third one is also red. I hope we can play in the snow this winter break. Oh look, we're going to bake cookies! What kind do you think we're going to bake? You're right, it's Gingerbread Man! They look so good! We're taking them out of the oven one by one. Oh, another one! Is there gonna be more? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, I think that's it! All done! Why don't we count how many we baked? Let's do it together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight gingerbread men. They're all brown and they're all smiling. That was so much fun. Now we have a red and green Christmas stocking. I think we should add more. What do you think? Okay, let's do it. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. Heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. There are so many Christmas stockings. Let's count them together. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. We have ten Christmas stockings. They are so cool. We can put little stocking stuffers inside, like pencils and erasers, stickers. They are so much fun to stuff with surprises. Great job counting with me. Now let's decorate the Christmas tree. I'm going to put up an ornament, and you're going to guess what color it is. Okay, let's do it. Oh, there's the first one. What color is this one? It's pink. Here we have another one. Can you guess this color? It's blue. This is so much fun. Here's another one. What color is this one? It's green. That's right. It's green just like the Christmas tree. Wow, look, another one. Can you guess this color? Yeah, it's red. Just like Rudolph's nose. Here's another ornament. This one's tricky. It's almost like snow. What color is that? It's white. Oh, what about this ornament? What color is this one? 
It's purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Let's put up some more ornaments. Oh, what color is this one? It's yellow. Yellow like a banana. Here's another ornament. What color is this one? Can you guess? It's orange. Okay, the next two are a little different. So if you can guess them, great. If not, I'll help you. Do you see this color here? Can you tell me what color this is? If you guessed silver, you're right. This is silver. This ornament is silver. Now we have another unique ornament. Can you guess this color? This is gold. This ornament is gold. I want to add one more thing to this tree. Look, a pretty red bow to top it off. Now let's count how many ornaments we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten ornaments plus a star and a bow and some presents. This tree looks beautiful. Thank you for helping me decorate it. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a nice holiday season. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye!